Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel On the menu today, and as you can see right here I'm going to be making like a drunken fish A kind of Chinese fried fish with white wine There's chilli in there, lots of garlic, a touch of corn flour, ginger Really nice, pretty simple to make, tastes great Let's go and do it Okay, let's get started on this. As you can see here, I've got my fish. I'm using like a, a dory fish, like a white frozen fish. You can use cod or any fish you like. What I've done is I've defrosted this. If you're gonna use it fresh, great. This is frozen. And then what I've done is I've patted it dry. Get it as dry as you can. Get some towels on it and get it dry because it holds a lot of water. What we're gonna do is first of all, marinate our fish. So let's start off with, I've got a little bit of black pepper. A little, there's one, one egg white there. One egg white just in there you need. Touch of oil. And these are tiny amounts, a couple of teaspoons. I've got here some fish sauce. Now if you don't want to put fish sauce in, you could use salt, but certainly don't use both. Here I've got some white wine. You can use rice wine, you can use any wine you like in fact. And then here I've got some corn flour or cornstarch, which is, by the way, the same thing. It's just called a different thing, depending on where you come from. What we're going to do now is just mix this all together. And then we're going to leave this, set this aside for about 20 minutes minimum. And then we're going to simply fry our fish in some oil first. And then we're going to get on to the final stage of it. So there you go, you've got a nice kind of coating there. So, leave that for a bit. Next stage is we're going to fry that off. So here I've got some oil. I've got a sunflower oil or corn oil up to you. It's nice and hot. There's our fish. Simply get it out. Drop it in there. We're going to cook this for about just three or four minutes, I would imagine. It's just a nice thin, light fish, so it'll cook really quickly. Then we're going to drain it off, take it out, pat it dry, you know, put it on some kitchen towel. Set it aside. And then, move on to the next stage. Just a tip, at the moment, as you can see, it's stuck to the bottom. Don't touch it. it, will, it will, in, a, in a moment, it will actually release itself. If you start pushing it now, it's gonna break to pieces. Just leave it alone, and it will lift itself off. So as you can see, our fish is browning nicely on the outside. And it didn't stick, like I told you, it just lifts itself off. Simply, let's get this out into a bowl. So it's nice and soft on the inside, but as you can see, a kind of golden brown. What we're gonna do next is, I'll lay this onto some kitchen paper or serviettes or napkins, whatever you call it. Just, you know, just to get a bit of that excess oil off. But then what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of this oil, only a touch, in our wok. And the reason we're going to use this oil, because it's got some fantastic flavours in it. But there you go. Set that aside. Off goes that heat. Let me get my wok. So, fish there on the side, no problem, that's all done. Here I've got some chicken stock. I've got like a sort of, you know, cup and a half of chicken stock. If you want, use beef stock, fish stock, entirely up to you. What we're gonna do now is add some, again, some white wine in there, splash of fish sauce, 
bit of white sugar. I mean, you can play around with these amounts. And some cornstarch or corn flour. Let's give that a good mix. We may add a little bit more cornstarch, or if we've got too much in there, we might have to, have to add a little bit of liquid. There's our sauce ready. We've got some onions, some garlic, some ginger, and a little bit of optional red chili. Let's go to the cooker. So here we go. I've got some oil in there. That's the oil that we fried the fish in. Like I say, lots of lovely flavours. And then I just showed you this. Little bit of red chilli, optional. Some lovely chopped, chunky, I like it chunky, the garlic and the ginger, and a little bit of onion. So we've got masses of flavour going on here. Now, as you can see, we've got quite a lot of garlic there and quite a lot of ginger. I mean, you don't have to put as much as as I have in, but I find it really important. I really love it in this dish. The chilli, I just put one small red chilli in. Again, like I say, that's an optional thing. You do not have to do that if you don't want. And all we're doing, we're on quite a high heat, by the way. We're just infusing that fish oil, that beautiful oil with all those flavours of the fish, with all of these new, fantastic flavours keep stirring it all the time because we don't want this to burn. If it goes a little bit brown, fine, but we certainly don't want it burning. It then tastes all bitter and that's not what we're after. So, just give me now sauce mixture, another stir, make sure all of that Corn flour has dispersed nicely. Okay, that's perfect now. Just starting to change colour. Now we're going to add in our mixture. Now, on a high heat still, keep stirring it. And what should happen is that this is going to thicken. The corn flour in there is going to thicken this. If it gets too thick, we're going to add some more liquid. It's going there now, as you can see. If you wanted, you can use regular wine, rice wine. If you're going to use rice wine, probably use a little bit less. You could use a sherry. You can use any alcohol, in fact, if you wanted. I mean, I've never tried it, but. It's a kind of drunken fish, isn't it, that we're doing. Okay, now I'm going to stir this around for about another 30 or 40 seconds on a high heat. It's really thickening beautifully, as you can see. I'll be back then. That is looking fantastic. If it was too thick, I mean, we need it kind of, you know, sticky like this, so it grabs the fish. Or if you were doing chicken, the same. But if it was too thick, just add a drop more wine in there, or a touch of water, you'll be fine. Perfect, okay. Last step, get our fried fish in there. Mix this around. Get that heat right through that. goes the heat that's done it really is that simple it's absolutely delicious you've got a kind of nice Chinese drunken fish hope you enjoyed that don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll see you soon lots of love bye bye